possibly linked on graph theory. For example, all cities are linked by roads. Pages are linked by hyperlinks on internet. Flight and rail networks. Mobile networks. Component of electric circuits. Components of computer chips, etc. Graph theory is a branch of mathematics that deals with a connections between edges and vertices in graphs. A graph is a graphic representation of a group of components in which objects are connected by links. The points that connect the interconnected objects called vertices, and the links that connect the nodes called edges, and it is according to Chakraborty 2020. And do you even know that it could be possible if we also use graph theory in a game? For example, on chessboard, with a particular chess piece. Hmm, to further understand what I mean, let us play a game. What then can you figure out when you see this hidden picture? Yes, you're right. The answer is night. So for today's video, our main focus is all about the night. First, before we start on our main topic, let's figure out what is the meaning of chess. Chess is a two-player board game of strategic skill played on a checkerboard. Each player starts with 16 pieces that must be played and use to capture opponent pieces according to stringent regulations. And night which is our main focus today, is one of the more interesting pieces to play. The knight, whose movement has a simple L shape, it travels two squares in one direction, left, right, forward, or backward on the chessboard, followed by one square in the opposite direction. So, how do we find tours in which a certain piece, the knight, Forms a series of movements to visit every square on a chessboard exactly once. With this, we use a multi-layer chessboard to investigate the knight's tour on this problem. Moreover, it is still possible for a knight's tour to take place on a chessboard if the knight could move in a third dimension or in both standard and rectangular. At this point, to make it easy for us to identify the night's tour problem, we use a Hamiltonian path and cycle. With this, we can identify the paths on the chessboard where a path in a graph is a set of moves along edges between connected vertices with no edge trouble twice. Let us look for some examples to further understand what I mean. In this figure shows the standard form and the graph form of a 5x5 chessboard. In standard form, the vertex serves as an every single square and the line between the squares serves as an edge and representing the valid basic moves of the knight. The knight makes a path wherein it will form an L-shaped movement. In graph form, the circle serves as an vertex and the appropriate movement of the knight serves as an edge. When it comes to the 8x8 chessboard, it shows all the movements of knight where the edges are exactly 336 and the vertices were in the outer of the board have limited connection or moves than the vertices in the inner of the board. In the group of Ruyara in 2019, which is the 3x3 chessboard together its graphical representation of knight store, shows different representations of knight store in graphs but it is also the same. Next, in terms of irregular chessboards, by picking the knight's tour occurs and satisfies the Hamiltonian cycle, the knight's tour also explored in irregular chessboards. The rectangular board can be categorized as an irregular board if and only if deleting or removing squares. Further, the formation of squares of irregular chessboards consider their positions. 
If the square is not attached to the rest of the board, then it is not an irregular chessboard. To elaborate more, let me show you a figure as an example, which is the 3x3 chessboard. With this, there is no way to walk from the middle square. Nonetheless, it is possible to walk around the 8 surrounding squares. A closed night tour occurs on the irregular board by removing the center square. Thus, we can say that by doing the irregular chessboard, we need to remove the center or middle square to create a Hamiltonian cycle. Additionally, there is a 4x4 chessboard which is considered an irregular chessboard because of removing all corners. As shown on this figure by Wright and Harvey in 2018, there is an initial path 1, 9, 3, then the knight needs to go to vertex 11 to travel all vertices and make a cycle. Similarly, if the knight goes to vertex 2, it will lead to a cycle 2. In terms of a three-dimensional chessboard, it refers to a multiple layers of an M times N chessboard. In this way, the knight can move between the layers of the chessboard. The same L shape with eight layers of an 8x8 chessboard. However, in a multi-layered chessboard, the knight can move between the layers of three-dimensional chessboard. So, if the knight moves up one layer, the knight can move two squares in any given direction on the new layer of the chessboard. If the knight moves up two layers, then the knight can move to one of four directly adjacent squares, left, right, forwards, or backwards, on the new layer. From a central position, the knight has up to 24 possible moves. The set of 24 possible moves consists of the standard 8 moves on the original layer, 8 more moves from moving up or down 1 layer, and another 8 from moving up or down 2 layers. So, the number of the knight's move is increased with the inclusion of multiple layers of the chessboard. In the knight's tour, in three-dimensional chess, the series of moves on the multiple 8x8 chess boards ensures the knight visits each squares only one. While staying on the same chess board, the knight moves in the traditional L-shaped fashion on the board. Two steps in one direction, then two steps back. Gorlodge in 2015 explains a solution for locating such tours on a single chess board starting from any position square. While staying on the same chessboard, the knight moves on the traditional L-shape fashion on the board. Otherwise, one step in one direction, then two steps in the opposite direction. In conclusion, the knight's tour is an interesting problem related to the game of chess. The movement of the knight makes it particularly interesting to study the different types of problems related to the game of chess. Since the knight's tour and the chessboard can be modeled using graph, we can use graph theory concept to explore the properties of the knight's tour. In addition, this graph theory concept, which are the Hamiltonian path and cycle, can be applied to the knight's tour on both the multi-layered chess and the end cube.